Seattle's laying nine and a half at San Fran with the total points at 43. Thanks for tuning in. I'm B-Rock and I'm forecasting partly cloudy skies and 51 degrees in San Francisco this Sunday. While currently 71% of the money's on the Seahawks, let's take a look at both teams' records against the spread. Beginning with San Fran, they've covered a dismal 3 out of 15 games overall and just 1 out of 6 at home. In addition, they've only covered 3 out of 12 as the underdog or pick'em and just 1 of 5 as the official home underdog. When the line's around 43 total, the Niners went 0 for 2 in covering the points. When facing teams who win more than 55%, the Niners are 0-5. In addition to an abysmal record against the spread in multiple categories, San Fran has failed to cover against the likes of the New York Jets, Chicago, Buffalo, and Arizona. Before last week's cover over LA, the Niners had only covered one out of their previous 13 games. On the other side of the ball, the Seattle Seahawks have fared slightly better than their counterparts, going 7-7 seven seven with a push overall. When the line's around 43 total, Seattle has covered 50% of their games. Against teams winning less than 40% of their games, Seattle has gone 3-3. Three three. Along with a cover over San Fran in Week 3, Seattle has garnered themselves a marquee co cover over the AFC North champion, New England Patriots. Following week two, the Seahawks went on a hot streak where they only lost once on the spread out of eight games. And it's for these very reasons that I am loving, once again loving, the Seattle Seahawks laying the nine and a half on the spread. Moving on, I'm breaking down the total points, which are once again posted at an even 43. Both teams have collectively averaged well over 43 in their last four games. In addition, Seattle games have gone over their respective line in three of their last four. On the other side, San Francisco's games have gone over the line in two of their last three. And it's for these very reasons that I am loving, once again loving the over, 43 in this one. With the spread and total point predictions out of the way, there's only one more pick left in the show, and that's the outright winner for some money line cash. And you should already know who I'm going with in this one. Murphy's Law states that if I take Seattle laying 9.5 on the spread, then I can currently select them to win the game outright. Seattle was laying 500 on the money line at the time of my original pick Monday morning, and I have no qualms about that. Given that information, it's for these very reasons that I am loving, once again loving, the Seattle Seahawks to win this one outright for... Some money line cash. All told, I got Seattle giving up the 9.5 on the spread and the over 43 with the Seahawks laying 500 on the outright for some money line cash. Your final on this one, 28-17 Seattle.